Dollars is being spent every week on the coronavirus response in our state. But our resources are stretched thin, and the situation could get even more dire. Camera 7's DD Sun is live now in Shoreline at a quarantine site that is standing ready if needed. DD? Well, Monique, these are four RVs you see behind me that went up a couple of weeks ago to be used for certain quarantine situations. But that is only one small example of where the state is using money. You can see right over there, that's a Washington State Patrol vehicle. That's being used as security here, and it's certainly another cost. State and local health agencies say we're already using funds that we don't have to handle the current level of response needed. And this preparedness level, that's a concern that's being echoed across the country all the way to our nation's capital. I am very concerned that we are not prepared for uh, this or for anything like it in the future. Washington State Senator Patty Murray slamming the Trump administration today on how prepared we are for a coronavirus outbreak. Mask, protective suits, ventilators, anything is that stockpiled and ready? So we do have in the strategic national stockpile ventilators, we have masks, we have enough. Other well, of course not. This comes after the CDC announced this morning it expects a COVID 19 outbreak will happen in the United States. Seattle and King County Public Health has already said its resources are stretched to the limit. Already, uh, this is exceeding our um, epidemiological capacity. We, it is tremendously taxing. You know, the staff are, are very um, stressed at this point. Public health says it's hemorrhaging $200,000 every week on the response to monitor hundreds of people who've traveled here from China and are now in self quarantine. But it's diverting money from other expenses and says that's unsustainable. Today, I asked the King County Board of Health Chair about those concerns. Frankly, money be damned at this point in time. We're doing the work because that is what public health is. As for the state, Washington's Department of Health tells me it's spending $51,000 a day on the coronavirus response for a total of $1.74 million as of yesterday. They've set up multiple quarantine sites, including this one next to the state health lab in Shoreline with four individual RVs. People say our current level of preparedness is concerning. More should be done, absolutely. If it's going to happen in the States, it's going to happen in Seattle. We have the connection to that part of the world as, as well as anybody else. Here's a closer look at these RVs. These four quarantine sites still sit empty tonight, but we do know that the state is also looking at other options, including there is an outbreak and that more people need to be quarantined to be monitored to see if they develop any symptoms. Now, tonight, local and also state health officials are in Washington, D.C. to ask for more funding and also to see if they can get a slice of that $2.5 billion package from the Trump administration sent out to handle this problem. Live in Shoreline tonight, DD Sun, Cairo 7 News. Diet Coke lovers, Coca-Cola is worried about its supply of artificial sweetener because of the coronavirus. The company says the virus disrupted its supply chain and artificial sweeteners from China could be in shorter supply if the outbreak continues to spread. Coca-Cola says it created contingency plans and does not see a short-term impact. This news came from the company's earning reports. It declined to comment any further. Meanwhile, a senior member of the International Olympic Committee says the Tokyo Summer Olympics are are likely to get canceled if the outbreak becomes too dangerous. It would be canceled altogether rather than postponed or moved. There is a two to three month window to make that call, meaning an official decision could be put off until May. Now, we have been reporting on the coronavirus since the outbreak began, including its impact on Washington. And you can see all of our previous coverage by going to the Cairo 7 News app.